Welcome to my session. I'm Daichi Koto. Today, in my session, I'll talk about one of my previous business in Japan. I have a Japanese company's enterprise system development and previous use cases. How I offer FreeBC as their base platform and what I developed for them to improve their business values. Before I get started my talk, I have to have a story to have to say. My English is lesser. I am not good of English, especially for me. It is hard for, to listen to listen English. It is hard for me. If we have some questions, email me after this session. It's better for each other. Questions get <laughs> No matter what you want to talk to me on the fly, uh, would you please? Slow down your speaking. Assembly. And at first, I'll introduce myself, my job, and previously related activities. Next, I'm going to introduce USP Labs, Universal Shell Programming Laboratory. They are a rapidly growing IT system development company. <coughs> the company size is small or middle size. USB Love has a very unique technique to develop enterprise system in a day and age, called it unique age development method, very fancy method. Then I will introduce two products what I made for them, enterprise specialized shell, called it U-Shell, and new file system, Bubun file system. And I will talk about my work to construct a privacy based high performance computing platform called the USB Bore. At trust, I suggest a problem now we face it in our business. Yes, let's get started. Introduction. My name is Daichi Goto. Daichi is first name. Goto is the last name. Goto is not programming syntax, okay? I'm not I'm not a Fortran family man. Um, I'm a post committer, previous post committer and a SAS committer. Originally Union file system and a Japanese post is my work. I have two small companies. <coughs> my first and even now main com company is ONGS, ONGS ONGS. ONGS is so called the jack of all traded company, <coughs> enterprise system design development, management, and maintenance is web server design, development, maintenance, and, and <coughs> management, IT related news, articles, magazines, and books, writing, IT related seminar, IT related consulting, many, many. <coughs> and uh, one year ago, I founded another com company, BSC Consulting, as a co-founder at the time. My business partner company needed a free BSD support company. So we founded it. Perhaps uh, only, only in Japan specialized free BSD support and consulting company. Uh, yeah, I was doing some free BSD related jobs. Free BSD daily topics, daily free BSD news in Japanese. Important step is Gijutsu Hyoronsha, Gihyo. I am writing some books, magazines, and articles with Gihyo too. And as the BSC Consulting works, we are doing free BSC hardware verification services and consulting services. Free BSC based enterprise platform constructions and maintenance services too. Yes, this is a uh, FreeBSD paper book, published last year. Practical FreeBC Server Building App and Management Guide. Uh, unfortunately, the book industry in Japan is very serious situation. I guess this is the last FreeBSD paper book in Japan. And next, FreeBSD Digital Book. Last year published too, 
FreeBC Export Digital Edition 2012. I will plan to publish four FreeBC digital books per year. Writing for next, next publish is still done. Yeah, my FreeBSD related activities. Yes, I am a source and post committer. And another my activity is to join BSC conference. Attend to worldwide BSC conference. Yeah, BSC camp and Asia BSC conference, of course. Euro BSC camp, then the summit in San Francisco, and free BSD data led develop summit if possible. And I will report conference topics to Japanese audience. My English is lesser, yeah? And as a Japanese English are terrible, terrible at English. To report some conference topics in Japanese is very valuable work. And I have previous seminar per month, supported by KDDI Web Communications, BSC Consulting, ONGS and Gijutsu Hyorosha. KDDI Web Communications is one of the big ISPs using FreeBSD as their best platform. KDDI Web Communications management a few thousand FreeBSD servers, a big ISP. Yeah, FreeBSD daily talks, daily FreeBSD news site, hosting on Gijutsu Hyorosha. This is a scene of FreeBC seminar. The room supported by KDDI Web Communications. Very clean. <coughs> Good conference room. And my previous seminar, main teacher is Sato san, yeah, HLS. And sometimes me and Asada san. Asada san is attending this BSC can now. He is developing around Beehive. Beehive native bias he's developing now. At the moment, FreeBC committers praise Law as a FreeBC teacher. <coughs> so I will move on to the main, main point. There are too many industries. Mm, I will talk about retail industry retail, distribution industry, and related industries. I guess the no cares about many Japanese companies have no own IT sectors. They always outsource their system development, maintenance, and management. They love to outsource you know, IT vendors. As a result, Big companies depend on big IT vendors. How about middle, small size companies? They use imported and translated commercial software packages. Yeah. <coughs> so many software used in Japan as foreign software, just translated into Japanese. Domestic IT vendors like NEC, Hitachi, and Fujitsu use imported and translated software from yeah, Oracle, SAP, Microsoft, and so on. And Japanese enterprise IT solution is sub, 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 sub contractor structure. Big IT vendors place only many manager. Subcontractors phrase as project manager. Sub subcontractors write specification. Sub sub subcontractors like Excel Word documents. Sub 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 in a leaf light code. As a result, high costs and low efficiency. So many enterprise system development project looks not working well. Too many costs, too many people, too many time, too many unnecessary documents, especially Japanese loves Excel document. I don't know. Too many time, too many unnecessary source code, and too many stressful workers. All not happy. 
And so, USB lab, universal shared programming laboratory. Very unique, rapidly growing enterprise system development company. Ong's, my first company established in 2002. USB lab established in 2005. Very young company. And if uh, you have interested in this company, uh, a few months ago, they created the English version website. So please visit their homepage and read the English version website. Uh, so USB Labs current number of employee is from 20 to 13, a small company. And they are growing rapidly, very rapidly. And the main enterprise system is sales accounting system, payroll accounting system, corporate system, MRC system, merchandising system, enterprise system, self-manufacturing, etc., etc. Yes. They are not all one of their customers. Many, many companies there. George knows well, I guess, very famous companies in Japan. What USB Love made for their customers? For example, for Ryohin Keiku, internal manufacturing, mentorship, merchandising system, Head the store communication system for work, equipment management system, CRM engine for Rosen, mm. store sales management system for Hanshoku, mission critical system for Seijo Ishii, sales forecast system, investor control system for Toki Hans, store management system, body shop, yes, body shop in Canada too, for body shop, BI tool system. For trial company, mission control system. For Yoshijuya, real time sales and marketing support system. So, too, too, too many, too many, too many systems they made. It is a part of their works. From 2005 established, it is just seven or five years. But I used to love made for many, many enterprise systems. So they have very unique tools to develop their enterprise system in our day. The commands and shell script. Commands and shell script. They have a specialized command called the USB Tsukubai. <coughs> USB Tsukubai are around 50 selective commands survived among from the several thousands of commands they developed in past years of their, of their business. Yeah, it looks like the 40 years old Unix style system development. Very unique nowadays. So their business. Many business folks and developers at first feel disturbed and laugh at their development style to spawn. I know it's unnatural. However, USB develops enterprise system in very quick. Very, very quick. A few days in some cases. And the system works very well. Surprise. And the develop cost. Cost is very reasonable. Very cheap. And uh, development. They are developing the very flexible because is, uh, their application code is very few. And approach is very easy. At last, Customers company could do self-manufacture. First, I said many Japanese companies have no IT sector, but at last, the customer have the IT sectors because uh, development is very easy. Yeah, this is one uh, one of their research project. 
they have research joint with Tokyo University, Keio University, Waseda University, Naga University, famous universities in Japan. Unicage development method. Unicage development method is a software development method using Unix, Office 360, text file, commands, and shell script. It in includes from request listening and a human communication to system architecture design, platform constructing, data design, agile programming, coding manner, education, documentation, and maintenance. Comprehensive development method. <coughs> yeah, the key tools are text file, command, and pipeline. They use an expensive PC, common PC, as their base platform. And the data is only text file, white space separated frame text file, called the PID format text. And they use Unix common commands, sed, oak, tr, grep, echo, cat, head, tail, etc., and customized command. Yeah, scuby, USB scuby command, self, join zero, join one, join two, sum two, sum four, sum five, yo, keta, marme, diosem, so on. And it's a journal by pipeline in the shell script. Yeah. Every day we use this command. Plus sum scuby command. Yeah, that's all. Their system development method, that's all. Make the data file and a command pipeline, command pipeline, command pipeline, pipeline processing. And this model is very familiar with March core, many core systems. Process, too many process use so many cores at the same time. <coughs> and this is a table of Unicage command. So USB Tsukubai has many Japanese name commands because their business is in Japan. And they are preparing the English version USB Tsukubai now. I guess the USB version become familiar with you. Mm. And uh, I, so USB Lab opened a license free version of Tsukubai commands, open USB Tsukubai, that is written in Python. So Komeka USB Tsukubai commands are written in C for get host speed. Open USB Tsukubai are written in Python. Mm. But it is enough about the speed. Open USB Scuby aims at expanding the ideas of Unicage development method. And some companies are doing their job using Open USB Scuby. <laughs> Open USB Scuby implementation are enough well. That works very well. Yeah, so why Unicage development method? So first, no middleware, no Oracle, no database. And shell use the kernel feature directory system calls, pipe, fork, exec, wait, open. So no middleware realize the first processing. And applications are very short, a couple dozen lines. Very, very short. Uh, yes, this is application. They call this is application. Yes, first I see in this script they called it application. 
application is just just some pipeline, but this works very well for the enterprise system. This is another example. This is web application. That's all. This script act as database update and database search. Uh, name read join zero mojihame at scuba command. Hmm. Why flexible? Because it's simple and easy to run and customize. Um, important and main ideas of USB uh, Unicage development methods is data, data separation and data distribution. This is key point. First, and separate. Yes, to separate is to understand. That is USB's idea. And uh, the kanji, wakeru, means separate and understand. A kanji have two meanings, separate and understand. Hmm. So Japanese thinking to, to separate is yes, to understand. Separated by business, separated by organization, separated by software and the law. <coughs> Next is distribution. And the uh, Unicage method, data are copied to all software and distributed to everywhere. Any programs don't share one file. F files copied to all applications and not override. Application just read a file and write into another new file. This is key point two. So full distribution and no override is robust for unexpected access. <coughs> uh, wrong data input, software bug, hardware bug. Then the group can inspect easily because there are just only text file. And this realize easy low back. The images of distribution and full sharing. The data are the same, same data. They copy all files for all applications. And this picture shows the uh, Unicage Development Method data flow. First input data is from POS or other data master data, transaction data, something like that. Then they refine the data to the text file. So the text file separated to five layer data management, five level data, and script processing and output a result. That's all. Yes, they use a level one, level two, three, four, five data separation. Level one is a low data. Just copy from POS. Uh, Apache low data, but something low data. And level two, level two has been formally imported into the system at a particular point of time. <coughs> and the level three, primary application use level three. Level three data uh, is uh, what 
should I say? Uh, normalize with the data. <laughs> it read by, by command. And that, that is plain text file. And level four is specialized for application, some kind of application. And level five is PDF, Excel, or something like that. This is a more detailed picture <coughs> to show the five layers data management. <coughs> Level one, the raw data from post or raw data or some other application output. Save the data, production masters, and transaction data. It is translated to level two data and our last level is three data. What is 5W1A? Uh, uh, 5 w In English? Who? When? Where? This picture shows the comprehensive development life cycle. Uh, Unicage development method has two develop phase, implementing phase. And uh, first time is discussion, listen to customer's request and the design. Yeah, seventy percent important for this phase. And next is short term development. Yes, application is very small, so development time is very small. And a third phase, they redefine the design. And a fourth stage, they finish their implementation. They refine the application. Application gets a little, a just quick, just tweak. <laughs> yeah, they use shell script, so shell script are extremely flexible. So there are many restricted coding manners. There are manners, but uh, manners not documented. Uh, usually they use agile programming. So daily work, uh, mentor, programmer, educate, partner, the coding manners. <coughs> yeah, documentation. Unicage has little documentation so, because the uh, application source code very few, so they don't need many documentation. <coughs> so, required documents are the application IO API and the dimension of source code data, original data description. And uh, System purpose of business pro manuals. Hmm. So this seven <coughs> sentence are very important for them. Unicage development method is based on the Unix philosophy. Unix philosophy. Do you know Unix philosophy? <laughs> that is 40 years old philosophy. Small is beautiful. One program should only do one thing. 
Prototyping should be process as possible. Portability takes precedence over efficiency. The date is distorted as plain text, commonly used as letters. The applications are written in JavaScript. All programs are designed as filters. They do it. Unix philosophy. That's all. And they have Unix site, UEC, Unicage Engineering Community site. The site for the Unicage engineers. So it's very crazy. All contents are specialized for shell script programming. The world's most crazy shell script site. <coughs> So unfortunately, Japanese only, um, I guess, Google Translate helps you. Oh, yeah, next. So next, I will introduce my work. You shell. So USB uses shell script. Shell script is their key technology. So I develop a new shell for them, U shell. I suggest them uh, send OS and the bash. Mm -hmm. So so it's good. And uh, FreeBSD and uh, A shell is better for you. And they love FreeBSD and A shell. So I developed the A shell based customized shell remove and needed features and necessary features and add new features they want. Debugging feature, exception handling, brave brace expansion, and string handling. Now you shell is USB space platform. You shell getting robustness. No unnecessary feature to improve coding quality. <coughs> No features, leading source and security vulnerabilities, especially on the environment variables. Mm. And I added some new features. For example, this is error handling code. Um, a shell has no ERR error command. I added to U shell error command. So, error command. And register some function shell command fails jump to function and run and return the false error occurred and this error command traverse the subshell and subshell. This fork in a subshell and a pipe make the subshell. Subshell, subshell, and the force. But you shall check the error occurred. And high hyphen E, shall have hyphen E, you shall have hyphen E too. And if hyphen E set it at error time, they exist automatically. Next, uh, bubbles output for debugging. FreeBSD <coughs> uh, Azure has no number output. So developers cannot understand where, this grip where, you shall output the number of code so developer can quick find the <coughs> problem point. Usually it has no export because environment variables lead some problems for beginner programmers. <coughs> and log command, usually have log command. <coughs> it's a 
like the EXCC, but EXCC, EXCC and EXCC space two <coughs> bigger than space file name and a semantic wrong EXCC. Why? Why that is writing to the file? Beginner program cannot understand. It. So we rename the command. And a brace expansion. USB uses brace expansion well, so I added this feature to your shell. Coding is very hard. <coughs> and subscreen operation. Yes, a shell have subscreen operation. Sharp, 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 percent and percent, percent. That is not easy for beginners. So I added substring operation like oak. <laughs> it is good for beginner programmer. And next, Bourbon 5 system. Bourbon 5 system create a new file which is part of some file with that they are IO, copy in IO. And this feature implemented as kernel module. Hmm. So bubonfs.ko is a kernel module. And look, uh, 43 gigabyte file. This is a master data file. Yes, example, primary key and uh, data and some kind of data. The link. Yes, it looks like common symbolic link. But the cat just only 34 bytes. It looks it looks like symbolic link file, but works a part of some other file. The yeah, BubonFS is a system called Hawk Magic implementation. <coughs> Yeah, Bubon FS implements uh, all related system code to put Bubon FS feature into place. Yeah, Bubon FS kernel module replace previous default system core to use Bubon FS system cores at one time. So we tried uh, some kind of implementation. I choose to use symbolic link file as a trick of a Boom file system because it is the most process. I tried it, uh, a file with uh, attribute information, a uh, head link file, and a symbolic link file. A symbolic link are the most process. Use case, one big master, 10 gigabyte. It is common C for enterprise system. So some application want to use a part of the master file. For example, 100 application to read from the master file and grab it and make a new file. Very slow. If you use Google file system, can create some million small files in a second and no separate, two, two separate IO read and write new file. Very fast. Database view? Like mm -hmm. Database view. So yes, exactly. It's the yes. length of a file. So yes, yes. File name, offset, and length. Yes, exactly, yes. Right. <clears throat> yeah, next step. Uh, they wanted more debugging feature, remote control, and network programming. Uh, Bash has uh, port, port pass. Do you know the Bash port pass? Sura dev, Sura ports, Sura APs, braha braha. Yeah, that is the bash extension, like including the netcat feature in the shell. And uh, got type file system, the reverse feature of Bubble file system, a file constructed any other files. But a file, yes, like the view. And next, uh, big data treatment. USB bore. 
This is previously based the big data treatment appliance. I made for USB lab. One master, five threads PC that connected via 10 gigabit NIC. This is the architecture, but simple architecture. So I made this system three times. First time, yes, it failed. Uh, first of all, cluster, I choose Melanox Technologies Infinite Band Connect X2 for network. Um, that works. Yeah, great, but unstable. And uh, infinite band network transportation is very unstable. So lack of time, I cannot change the current source code, so we should choose another choice to buy another devices. Second, second, I try to use Intel's 10 gigabit NIC. That's good, but we need more processor power we need more impact to other customers. And a third, third board success. So we replace all mass and thread CPU to uh, for process I core seven and uh, common Xeon core. Hmm. Yeah, at a time, it's a, a little bit costly. Over. But that's good enough, enough impact I get. Hmm. Yes, next, show the application. Use it on the USB board. Cluster who? Cluster who? Cluster who? Cluster who? Cluster is USB board specialized command. If you did cluster join the join the process did distributed to the slave machines and automatically correct the result to the master. <coughs> and the benchmark results. Mm. Yes, yeah, select. Select process from one billion record using a 10 parallel processor, three seconds. So, one billion random records sold, 97 seconds. <laughs> three, sum up, sum key field in one billion random record, 35 seconds. Mathematical operation. Hmm. 22 seconds. Join 36 seconds. Compile the operation in 7 seconds. Yeah. These results are very first against to the Hadoop. Uh, so, example, the random record sort uh, using 200 Hadoop nodes to sort the 1 billion random records takes two, 20 minutes, but this system do it at 100 seconds, very fast. And another benchmark. Yeah, big point is the last one, big data search. Huh? No, 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 no. Uh, yes, 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 last three, big data search, especially. So search a person's data from 10 billion records. It is just only 1.2 seconds. All data on the tempo FPS, and uh, each node connected via 10 gigabit NIC. 
we can get this speed. No database, no middleware, just command operating system shell script. And as an example, yeah, two main example all shows new system works very well. Yes, 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 yes. Come on. There are business example. Uh, yes, get first. Next. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Get first. Mm -hmm. Get first. At last. Yeah, they translate the uh, SQL query to the shell script. Currently, they are developing the program to automate translate from SQL to shell script using SCUBI commands. That are working very well. So, to use the SQL, SQL is very hard to get a scale to the March core to main core. But the Unix command and pipeline join the Unix command shell script very well scaled to March core to main core. And it looks very easy. <coughs> yeah, this approach is very good, I guess. And next, BC consulting. I'll talk this consulting for enterprise. Yes, one year ago, BSD Consulting established it. BSD Consulting holds all the sub diary of USP laboratory. Short name is BSCC. President is Tonaka, and director is me. Yeah, two years ago, Tonaka have involved me as a previous consultant. Then, USP found that FreeBSD is better choice for them as base platform. So until that time, they used CentOS and Bash. I pushed them FreeBSD and Ash. And I took this, I developed this uh, customized shell, use shell and a specialized file system for their business. And that time, uh, Curtain USB's customer hesitated to take FreeBSD as their base platform. Mm. That is a common case. They said, because the lack of the company for support of FreeBSD. So they cannot choose FreeBSD. Mm. Exactly. We lacked the FreeBSD support the company at that time. So we established the BSD consulting for our business. Basic consulting logo. We support and consulting FreeBSD, providing FreeBSD information in Japanese. Yeah, common Japanese, terrible in English. So providing FreeBSD information in Japanese is variable. And FreeBSD hardware verification service and same as services. Mm. And some folks attended that BSC conference here, and you know the terrible in English <laughs> or Japanese. <coughs> hardware verification service. Japanese domestic server hardware vendor like NEC, Hitachi, and Fujitsu lack of FreeBSD support because of the lack of FreeBSD company. <coughs> But the good news, we concluded with NVC. NVC is Express 5800 verification service. So, they, so last, last year, they changed their base chip from Intel to Broadcom because of the cost. Intel cost many money. And they chose a new megalayer card that that does not work with MIF on FreeBSD. And FreeBSD did not work on NSC's new Express. 
their customer got angry. The BSTC and ANC have a contract about printing support and hardware application. So from this spring, Express series will work with FreeBSD. And patches, documents, information will be open on the BSTC site. And uh, last year ago, we prepared another organization, NPO for enterprise. So BSTC and uh, BSDR, BSD Research Chairman is Sato san. Sato san is now established the uh, NPO for FreeBSD. And uh, BSD Research, its core business is Asia BSD Conference, BSD Certification, and uh, BSD Documentation Translation. BSDC and BSDR. So one year ago, we thought that we need a fair and uh, impartial certificated organization to promote FreeBSD to enterprise company. So already we have BSD certification, BSD certification group. So BSDR, new NPO company, cooperate with BSCCG and provide BSD certification in Japanese. Translation is ongoing. <coughs> At last, um, I suggest a problem to be solved as soon as possible. That is InfinBand driver and operator. The HPC need the InfinBand driver. 10 gigabit NIC works fine. That works very well. But InfinBand transport three. 0.2 times faster than 10 gigabit NIC. Yeah, in fact, we are constructing a new BSD port, uh, USB board with Linux because of InfiBand. So that is three months ago. We have tried to imp improve OPEDA on FreeBSD. But uh, in the end, it failed. It. At last, we realized that we are implementing all Linux and API in the FreeBC kernel. Linux has an API. Uh, an API is some kind of kernel specialized function to develop device driver. So it looks like a long approach. We are considering the next approach. Um, if you have any ideas, please contact me. <coughs> so we need Infinite drivers. The lack of infinite drivers gives the Red Hat and CentOS some advantage at a current HPC platform. So should we contract to contact to Mellanox Technologies? Or should we suggest to FreeBC Foundation to develop the latest operator subsystem? Mm, current big concern. Big business showstopper is InfiniBand. I have some big vendors using InfiniBand, and they accelerated to use InfiniBand in their data center. The other ones, the other companies like Veronix, is too large. Hmm. Which is now Intel. Intel? Intel bought too large a portion. Hmm. So maybe Intel. Intel? Market share, Melanox, yeah. a big win to Intel, InfiBand. Mm -hmm. Well, Intel released the 
pretty soon you can enjoy them. <laughs> hmm. I know. <coughs> hmm. Yes. Yes. My talk is done. Any questions? Um, how exactly does uh, uh, I forget what it's called the, the system of storing files in just sort of a large file without databases? How exactly does it handle for data integrity? Um, for example, a big convenience store. Uh, that has a thousand stores and then the business area. Common master file size is one gigabyte. Um, so big retail companies master data is ten gigabytes and so so. There is no problem because all data are copied at any time. Uh -huh. There are any data. Uh -huh. So if failed detected to roll back free stage and I'll calculate again. Okay, so whenever you're pulling in data, you're pulling it from multiple places and then comparing them to make sure both are correct before working with them? How would you know if the data was bad? You don't. Hmm. Uh, um, USB yeah. use the same machine yeah. always and check the result at last. Okay. So if the result mismatched, they, they do it again. Okay. All right? Uh, yeah. I, I think that, that answers my question. Yes. Another question? Uh, one question. Can we have a copy of your slide? Hmm? Can we have a copy of your slide? Mm. This one? Yeah, your presentation. Hmm? I think we will need that. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Because copy, copy slide. Your, your slide, your presentation. Hmm. Can you send a copy? Ah, yeah, yeah, no problem. Yes, yeah. I'll do it. Okay. Question two. Yeah. USA and Google FS, are they available or is this proprietary to a company? Yes, currently proprietor only. But uh, it sounds straightforward to me, right? Because the, the file name, the offset, and the length are encoded in the signal. Uh, right. Unfortunately, we are implementing it for Linux kernel now because uh, USB for program, and uh, that will be GPL, so that will perhaps open source to the world. <laughs> um, the symbolic link is interesting. Always a symbolic link. Always. Right, yeah. because the encoding for the, if you will, the select or the view. We have three. You've got 128 bytes to do something with. So we have three implementation. Anna. I first uh, I thought hard link is the fastest one, but uh, it is not because to create a new file. 
it access to the hard disk sometimes. And uh, to use attribute, uh, file systems attribute, it writes sometimes to file system. The symbolic link is just one time write, and that is the most processed reason. <coughs> Or any question? Nothing? Down. Thank you very much.